the sun is shining we are back on the road bike and tonight we are going full gas round a go-kart circuit here we go then there's the track the big boys are out the big mossa boys are out for a smash fest so a little look at the track now before we go into a full gas handicap style race we're just going up the start finish straight and the the track's probably only about 800 meters long not that long but what it lacks for in length it makes up for in fun it is absolutely mega so you got that start straight round a little corner it cranks up this little climb here and then you start to descend back down and this is where it gets a little bit fun a little bit tricky it's not a course where it's just about power you've got to have power and skill so coming into this right hander this is crucial you take a right hander into a left and then it's like a double sort of right hander where you've got to really nail this back on yourself before you're back into the start straight and then we're going to get into some race footage now so Ollie's organisation, ropey. Because I've got mutiny in the ranks. I can no I was, respect for authority. Do you know what I mean? Absolute scandal. I was told El Capitano was going to run this ship, shit, but he's I'm not. Listen, Nuttall's up there. He's meant to be in our group, but we're about to go full, full whack handicap race. Handicap race. George is in the scratch group along with me and Freddie. And we've got a group of four up the road and then a group of four further up the road. So here we go then. Just as I thought, all of the uh, woolly waving and that has stopped now. I've never heard so much rubbish in all my life about who's fast and who's slow and what groups. You know what I mean, just ride your bike. Here we go then. A little bit of mayhem. But I think everyone's just about got the gist of what they're doing. And that's it, they're all off now then. Here we go then, a handicap style race and I've got the power as close as I could get it but as you can see Ollie's on the front and he just absolutely whacks it straight away. The man has got some power, he is putting out some ponies, I'm like in the wheels doing like full gas here. But you know that you're only going to have to put this one effort in down to the bottom corner. Then as long as you've got relatively good bike handling skills and cornering skills, you're going to be able to ease up here and get a little bit of recovery. If you don't have the technique to get around the corners very well, you can see Ollie gets really low, knee out, absolute Valentino Rossi style. And there's the rascal, Giorgio, I would think, on his heels. Really nice low technique there from the rascal himself, I believe. Yeah, look how tight that is. One little bit wide. And then as soon as you come out that corner, you're absolutely back on it, pinging it. So obviously we're racing to try and catch the front group. So the plan was we were going to do a lap each full gas. So I have like... I don't look at my power on the screen. I don't have anything up on my Wahoo. So I just go through to the front and I just whack it, give it the berries and just try and hang on basically. That is my tactic when I go to the front. Always has been, always will be. You could say you could try and pace this better, but I'm all about just making it hurt, making it hurt for myself and also trying to make the people hurt behind me. But I know, same again, coming down here, this is where I can make up some time if I nail these corners and get a little bit of recovery in through here. And it shows how good you've got to be technically as well as strength this course. And uh, I think Giorgio's off the front there. Pulling them round, not taking any chances, don't want to get caught. See what he can do under pressure. Yeah, not too bad, all that is a really wide line. But then coming out of here, as soon as you come out this corner, it is ping again. Get back on the power, put it down. But what I should have done here, admittedly, is taking it a little bit easier so the group could get past me and I could get back into the slipstream a little bit quicker. There's a headwind up this straight. So I've basically had to do max effort again. And this is the worst bit. You've got to bury yourself just to get back in the chain. But then you'll get your recovery. So I should have eased a little bit earlier. I hear this group here just coming in the now, so they're not doing too bad at all if they can work together. That's a bit bad. The last time they went around there was absolutely shocking, so they got that much, much better. Netherly boys, so 
if we just say they're just going over the start finish straight now and they're just going into that corner there so if we can try and work out a little bit oh, bit right there boys keep it tight so I managed to get back on the chain, but you can see it just surges. You've got to surge a little bit to get back in. That's uh, just the way it is. But you know coming down here, you're going to get your recovery again. And I'm not saying I'm amazing at cornering, but you can see here, if you keep it nice and tight, just how much I'm close to Ollie's wheel. I've kept it nice and tight. The problem is, with the guys running wide, I'm now in the, in the headwind, which I don't really want. And you can see we're making up gaps because he's accelerated. You really need to all be cornering spot on in this instant to try and make up as much time as possible. If anyone in the group's running wide, you saw how wide those guys run. They're having to put in massive surges now. Whereas if you can nail your bike handling skills, you are able to just make up so much time. So coming back down here again, I'm in the wheels now. You can see I'm still putting out good numbers just to stay in there because the pace is high. You're not getting a huge benefit from the draft with like a couple of guys. But same again, look here. You can see the different lines people take. And if you nail it, look at the gap you can make up here. Look, bang, coming out. We're already past... Uh, Freddy, I think it was, who was wide on the left. Take them a little bit out each time. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, too wide. Pretty nice on one. <laughs> we have just mentioned that. Oh, it wasn't Freddy. Sorry, I apologise. It was Mark Nato, I remember now, with his terrible granddad corner in. He was taking it way too wide, but he can make up for it with his power. And look at this, when Ollie gets on the front, boom, 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 you know you're going to get put in a hurt locker, that's for sure. But yeah, he was making up for it with his power, whereas if he had good cornering, he'd have absolutely crucified us. Um, uh, that corner there. And it is a difficult corner, to be fair. Oh, that's a, <laughs> a really wide line to that's that, that stop. I blame the bike. Of course, everyone wants to see what <laughs> bike he's going to blame. And there you are. Oh. But yeah, then straight back on it, round this top bend, down towards the bottom. The front groups were splintering now. We could see that, like guys dropping off, not being able to hold the pace. So for us, it was just about keeping it high, keeping it high and trying to get round. In the end, it was only about a seven minute effort to get back on. You can see how low Ollie gets through there. He absolutely loves it. So here they come. Nice tight lines. Mr. What's that? Oh, it is a little bit wide on those lines every time so that's how much space he's having to make up each time as well so it's a real good little point so ollie's just gone through i'm back on the front usual procedure you can see my rpm's quite high that's pretty standard for me i just spin like mad i'm like just trying to put out as much power as i can up here just giving it full send you know you've got 30 seconds full send round the top bend and in a minute we can start try we can we can start seeing the riders in front now and uh, Luke getting dropped a little bit there. Good job he's more than that, and bike Luke. And Giorgio with a wide line there, trying to put some power down, break the boys up. Need to work together, looking over his shoulder there. So yeah, coming down through these corners again, I'm on the front and I know this is where I'm gonna get my recovery and you can see the heart rate's crept up now. You're taking it wide here and you really want the guys to pull through so that you can jump on the chain as quick as possible. So see here, that was the reason I was taking it wide. Dad's slating me saying I've put a wide corner in, but then look, I can ease in and quit as soon as. I'm still putting out the watts because you've got to put them out to jump back on the train. but. I can get back on that chain, train as quick as possible, get in the slipstream and get your recovery. The difference between on the front and being in the wheels is just night and day. So that is why I took that corner wider. If you know we're going to do through and off at that section, like say you're in a breakaway and you've discussed where you're going through and stuff, it's absolutely ideal. But same again here, look, Ollie getting nice and low and 
he's taken it wide there which you can see how quickly you can make up like a bike length on someone he ollie hasn't got it right there so he's had to spike up to chase back on i've had to spike up because he has whereas like i was saying you just can't beat being good round the corners but you can see now just i think it was that section just top right you could see us catching them now top right in the screen and it is full gas to try and get on that that group that we were trying to chase. Uh, look, here they come, up and round. And they can smell them from there, I should think. Again, let's see if there's any panicking going on on this corner. And just a tad wide, but they should come out of that too. Oh, easy, Tiger, easy. And that's what I mean when the pressure's on a little bit. That's when the mistakes are made and they've caught them up. And then that was it. A naughty little pedal strike there. You cannot put down the power too early because it is game over if you do. But mega fun putting down the power. You can get a good idea. I hope this gives people a good idea of the watts I'm putting out during these efforts. Obviously, this effort was only like seven minutes, something like that. So we can do them sort of watts for seven minutes. Longer than that, I can't, trust me. Like, you're probably seeing it thinking, wow, I'm spiking up, holding good numbers. But reality is, I can do that for seven minutes. I can't do that for an hour, crit. And just being able to corner, the importance of cornering. I've said it in videos before. It's massive. Obviously, if you're on, like, a velodrome style, it's not so important because you'll just go around the banking. But when you start getting on these technical courses, you can see how much energy you can save and time you can make up through decent cornering. But it's wicked fun. I hope this gives you an idea of just the, the watts that are going into it with the on-bike camera. And I hope you've enjoyed this little video with the Mossa boys just giving it full ping. And hopefully I can make a few more when we go back to the go-karting track. So wicked fun. Got the legs firing. Got the lungs firing. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video.